then just move up. Yep. Hello, this is my room and I had to take out the other video because my mom said there was too much cleavage. So this is my room and I'm going to give you a little tour. So you don't get anything in this dorm. You only get a futon and that's it. And then you just have to live with it and start collecting things from this one other room where other people leave their stuff that I don't want. And then you can take it, but there's nothing because I came late. So I'm going to take you out into this corridor and I'll show you my life of my dorm life. It's so weird, light turn on as you walk out. So it's like, okay, the light's already turned on, so I can't show you much anymore. Now I have to be super quiet because it's really late. So here we go. Like this. It's the wrong way. Oh, it's the wrong way. So even my camera lady is telling me the wrong way. So this is how you pay and poo if you like to do it that kind of way. Or else you can also go here, which is a westernized westernized toilet. So if you lift up the lovely lid and it's warmed up for you, and then you get to choose your music, you can have stuff spraying up your butt or you know, it could be like a bidet, I don't know, but it can sound like Anyway, that's used for when you get really shy and you don't want people to hear you pee, that's what it's used for. really really communal area where you like brush your teeth and wash your hand but you can't do it in the inside sink because that's where you piss and you can't use that but this is where you do everything and everyone here is really good they don't steal stuff you just put your name on it you just respect people's things and now we're gonna go here This is a store. I'm well, sure. well. <laughs> and it's where you store things that you don't use if you don't have enough space in your room. And it's really embarrassing. I swear. I'm gonna go to the camera. Is. One more thing which I have found really, really weird, that's communal showering. I have to check if there's any there, so you can come, but... You do. Go into 
the first thing you go in, take off your shoes, massive thing, you have to take off your shoes. So you walk in, you open the blind, then you close your blind, and then you go into this area where there's this basket. So you just like strip and you put everything there, including your towel. All you take with you is like your toiletries, like your shower soap, your sponge, your shampoo. And once you go there, you're naked. Naked. It's so awkward. There's like other girls there with titties hanging out. It's like, it's unbelievable. And it's just so awkward. Okay, let's talk here, because I think people hear me, they're gonna be like, going, what the freak is she talking about? So anyway, so you, you just see other people's things hanging, and it's just so awkward. Like, in the Western society, you don't, you don't do that kind of stuff. You have your own cubicles, but there, you just have to be open and let things hang. And it's a very bizarre, experience but you know what I've done it it's quite exhilarating so that's as much of my uni dorm experience I have had in the last two days I'm sure there's plenty more to share with you but I'll just keep it at this and Kazel is laughing over that ass <laughs> so I'm gonna conclude this and say good night and this is probably five minutes long I hope you enjoy it bye bye <laughs>